Hello and welcome to the Fluid Master UK Virtual Training Module 2. Once again, we're really pleased that you're able to join us. I'm Edward Dando, the Test Lab Supervisor here at our Fluid Master headquarters in Hereford. As an extension to Module 1, I'm going to be talking through some toilet repair scenarios and demonstrating the installation of two of our most popular products, a fill and a flush valve. In addition, we'll be answering some compliance related questions which we've been asked via our social media channels. Looking at what water regulation to consider when repairing or installing a toilet and taking a closer look at some of the features and benefits of the latest fill valve, the AirGap 6000. Firstly, here's a little bit of background information for those of you who aren't familiar with the history of Fluidmaster. Fluidmaster is the world's number one toilet repair brand, established over 60 years ago by inventor and philanthropist Adolf Schopi. Fluidmaster quickly became recognised for quality, durability and value. Every year we market over a staggering 100 million toilet repair products which are supplied to over 90 countries worldwide. The Fluidmaster global distribution network reaches over 80% of the world's population and our product ranges are championed by plumbers, house builders, product specifiers, bathroom manufacturers and homeowners across the globe. As the market leading toilet repair brand, we believe that innovation is key and have a dedicated team working on new product development. To maintain ease of use and flexibility, we work hard to ensure that our toilet repair parts are compatible with virtually every kind of system, ideal for professional installations and appreciated by your customers. Fluidmaster products are the perfect partner for all your toilet repairs and we're really pleased that you've been able to join us today for module two of our online training. So, as you'll be aware, there are a variety of particular regulations to follow when installing or repairing the working parts inside a toilet system. Specifically, we're going to be discussing the installation of a fill valve in the UK. A Type AG air gap is a non-mechanical backflow prevention arrangement of water fittings with an air gap, together with a circular overflow, the size of which is determined by measure. Comprehensive information on Type AG air gap can be found on our website. BSEN 14055-2018 is the standard for WC and urinal flushing systems. This details design, performance and requirements for systems containing a flushing mechanism, inlet valve and overflow. BS1212 is a British standard of manufacturing which assures users that the product will be of high quality, specification, design and build. Part 4 valves are equilibrium valves, meaning that they manage the pressure of the water within the valve to give assisted shutoff and hydraulically open the inlet. This ensures a fast, smooth and quiet operation of the water returning to the system after flushing. If the intention is for a Type AG air gap to form part of a Type AUK1 installation, this would need to demonstrate compliance with regulator specification. AUK1 refers to the installation of an air gap with an interposed system, which is comprising of a system supplied via a Type AG air gap fill valve and a circular overflow with a minimum of 19mm diameter, providing this is capable of accommodating the maximum inlet flow. So with this clear demonstration tank, I'm just going to show you what we mean by AG and AUK1. AUK1 is an installation of the whole assembly, the installation of the flush valve and your overflow and your fill valve. Uh, with the assistant, you have your water line. Uh, we have our 19mm overflow on this valve is here, which should be anywhere between 25 to 32 mil above. Then we have the discharge point of our fill valve, which is here, which is at that height. To maintain an AG air gap, what we're saying is that this distance to the overflow distance must be a minimum of 20 mil. Fluid master testing is carried out in addition to all necessary compliance testing. Continuous mechanical endurance testing takes place in all fluid master labs. Fluid master has developed its own testing regime which goes above and beyond the necessary requirements for compliance and independent testing to ensure security and confidence in our products. Most installers will fit hundreds if not thousands of system fill valves during the course of their career. 
Our research tells us that the main things you take into consideration when choosing a fill valve are speed and ease of installation, compatibility of product and of course quality. We've designed the Airgap 6000 to address all of this and a whole lot more. The air gap can save up to one litre of water per flush, which in turn could save up to four and a half thousand litres a year in an average UK household. If every toilet in the UK was fitted with a water saving air gap, enough water would be saved to meet the consumption needs of the entire population of Wales, from brushing your teeth to washing your car. So we have developed the valve to be as quiet as possible when it's filling your toilet. So on the top here we have what we've called the vortex generator, which spins the water as it comes out. What we've also done is develop the valve so it's unobstructed through the valve, so we don't get any turbulence, which again could create a noisy valve. We have developed a variety of AirGap 6000 models. The bottom entry delay and non-delay versions are all adjustable in height to accommodate for different water levels and different size of cisterns, and also done the side entry versions, again in delay and non-delay valves. So the 6000 model eliminates backflow dangers. Backflow is obviously when your water gets drawn from your system and back into your main water supply and contamination can happen. So this air gap from the discharge point of the valve means that that prevents that from happening, which also then prevents any need for an additional check valve to be fitted. And finally, we've designed the 6000 so that it's got reliable and great performance at very low pressure. Low pressure being your gravity fed systems where you've got maybe a meter or two meter heads uh, where we need that decent flow and we need to fill a system pretty quickly, the 6000 will give you that. So now our system's completely empty. We need to disconnect the water supply, obviously. Make sure again that the water supply is off. If it wasn't, your system would be refilling but we need to disconnect that water supply down here. So either with your pipe grips or your spanner, we can undo the water supply. Okay, so we're going to essentially swap over the fill valve. For this instance and in this demo, I'm just gonna take this one out and then put it back in again, just to show you how to remove and how to refit correctly. So the water supply has been disconnected. So we need to get our grips, and undo the nut that's holding the valve into the system. So we can undo that and take the valve out. So we've taken the old fill valve out. Um, we need to dispose of that responsibly, recycling where possible. Um, we're going to reinstall the new fill valve, the AirGap 6000. A couple of checks to start with. Make sure that it'll fit, make sure the height's right. As you can see here, it's above the top of the system, so we just need to adjust the height, unlock, lock it back into place, make sure we've got the rubber seal on the bottom, pop it back in the system and put your back nut underneath and tighten it in. Again, make sure that when your valve is going, that it's not interfering with any of the flushing mechanism that's inside your system. Hand tighten, then get your wrench, and another half turn to maybe three quarters of a turn to tighten that fully and securely to make it leak tight. So that's the installation of the AirGap 6000 done. We know from direct feedback and via our social media channels that you're enjoying installing the AirGap 6000. In designing and producing this product, we were mindful that we wanted it to be sustainable in terms of carbon and water footprint. Fluidmaster is a UK manufacturer, and as such, our AirGap 6000 is entirely manufactured at our production facility in Hereford. We have also ensured that all component parts are fully recyclable in line with ISO 14001. Lastly, for anyone who's conforming to BREAM, our AirGap 6000 is a compliant product when installed correctly within a BREAM certified building. So that's it for today's training. If you'd like to find out more about our product range or you'd like to visit a local Fluidmaster stockist, head over to the website at fluidmaster.com where you'll find product listings and stockists for the UK. There's also a huge amount of information about toilet repair on the site that you may find useful. The AirGap 6000 fill valve has its own microsite that you'll find at fluidmaster-airgap.com. 
There you will find lots of information and more videos, including one on how to perform a simple service of the valve. And of course, you can keep informed of what we're up to by following us on social media. We're active on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. All you need to do is search on your chosen social platform for Fluidmaster UK and you'll be kept up to date with product launches, exclusive content and news from behind the scenes here at Fluidmaster. All that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can get in touch via social media or by emailing us at salesuk at fluidmaster.com. Bye for now.